It's only a game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, Heroes of Dominion? My name is Charles. This is Hero War Central. And today's video, I'm going to talk about uh, Dorian Teams as he is the mobile hero of the month. You can find his uh, soul stones in the daily bonus just by logging in on the mobile version of Hero Wars. And uh, because of that, I thought I would do a team video, much like the Helios video I did earlier this week or maybe last week if this is the... Uh, later on, whenever you're uh, whenever you're seeing this video, but um, if you like what I have to say here and you're interested in learning more, please consider viewing some of my other videos. I do videos basically on the uh, on the Hero Wars game only. Uh, that's the Facebook version and the mobile version. Um, and uh, like I said, today's video is about Dorian. Now, before I go too much further into the actual team uh, compositions. I wanted to take a quick mention and uh, talk about the um, the day seven of the login reward. Now it shows as one soul stone on day seven, but I get a common question about this. It, this actually gives you eighteen soul stones if you already have uh, if you already have the hero unlocked. So I got eighteen soul stones for getting this, and you can see that it's not affected by VIP level, so it's eighteen for everybody. But the point of day seven is to guarantee you to get enough soul stones to summon that hero if you don't have him, okay? That way you can continue on for the rest of the month gaining soul stones for him and all that. But if you already have him, it's 18 free soul stones, so there you go. Now, let's jump into some of the team composition videos. So, good team compositions. Who would I use with uh with dorian with our little vampire buddy here so um just to kind of get it out of the way some of the fun synergies that can be had with him uh before i talk about teams too much is uh dorian really helps heroes with uh with vampirism and there are only five heroes in the game that have vampirism um four uh have it natively and then a fifth one gets it from the equipment that they can lose so you have kai uh, who's a really strong vampirism, but his you know his damage output's pretty low. Uh, he you know he can fight you know mid to the back row, so it's good to you know sit next to him. Uh, Dorian's vampirism aura only affects those nearby; it doesn't affect the whole team. So um, even though it does uh, you know affect vampirism, that the hero has to be next to him in order for it to be helpful. So uh, Kai is on there um, as the top. The next most vampirism is Arachne. So interesting, uh, interesting stat there. You also have um, Ishmael, who's got good vampirism. And then next is Cleaver. And then finally, um, the last hero with vampirism is, uh, is Galahad. And um, Galahad, you know, he, he gets vampirism from an item, which is kind of interesting. Instead of, uh, you know, the item that you loot from the campaign giving him strength or magic defense or whatever, it's the, the bottom left what is his weapon. Um, not an artifact weapon, but his, his equipment gives him uh, vampirism. Something that I forgot to mention is this is Facebook. I'm, I'm recording this video on Facebook right now instead of on mobile, even though this is a mobile focused video because I have all of the heroes unlocked on Facebook and uh, and I don't have them all unlocked on mobile. So <laughs> I just wanted to put that out there. While, while this is a mobile focused video, I am recording this uh, on Facebook. So I know somebody's going to call me out. So I just kind of want to I just kind of want to mention that. Um, another great uh, hero to pair with Dorian is Elmer. Let's see. So Elmer is a frontline kind of uh, warrior kind of guy, but his one of his abilities has him jump to the back line. And whenever he does that, um, you know Dorian's uh, Dorian's aura. If the you know if Dorian is ultimated yet, we he'll uh, he'll uh, Elmer up pretty uh, pretty quick. So. That's a nice. Uh, that's a nice grouping. I mentioned in the Helios video that Orion is really good with him, just because you know they're nearby each other and he's constantly putting out damage, and uh, Dorian's constantly going to be healing him up um, while he's putting out crazy amounts of damage. So um, good, good team compositions there. So let's actually start with that. Let's do. Let's do that. That synergy team that I mentioned um, on the Helios video. So you have Helios, uh, Orion, and Dorian. And then, you know, I'd, I'd mentioned using Astaroth and Nebula, but I think using, you know, Jorgen uh, could be effective. You could throw in, I mean, you could throw in, I don't know, Faceless in there uh, to get some, you know, magic defense. Um, you could even have fun with, you know, maybe even Uther. I'm sorry, Luther. <laughs> Excuse me. So, so yeah, so, you, you know, the idea is, is tank, 
support. You know what? You could do. You could even do Anvari since it, he's going to protect everyone behind him. You could even do Anvari. Yeah, you could do that. This would be great against the Kark team, actually. Really great against the Kark team. So you could do this. This would be one option. Um, another option for a team involves Cleaver. And fun, interesting uh, counter Cleaver play. If, if you're going up against a team with Cleaver and Dorian happens to be your back line, if, if the opponent's Cleaver pulls Dorian to the front of your team, his, his Vampirism Aura is going to affect everybody on your team because it's going to be you know in the middle of everybody on the front of the team. So Dorian's actually a really strong anti-cleaver hero that not a lot of people think about. But in this case, let's uh, let's lean on that uh, Elmir synergy, and we'll do Nebula. I really like Nebula and a lot of a lot of midlines, and then Jorgen for the uh, for the support. So this is a pretty um, this is a pretty nice lineup. Uh, you know, you have high, you know, strong tank, you have armor penetration hero, um, physical, he- uh, physical healer because Dorian's artifact ability gives physical attack. And, you know, this is just a nice little lineup. It's, it's kind of wonky with the, um, with the positioning once Elmer keeps jumping back and forth with Nebula and of course Dorian's ability, but this is kind of a cool, it's kind of a cool team. If you've got Dorian, I'm sorry, if you've got, <laughs> if you've got Cleaver. Wow. Um, so speaking of... Luther. I've really been trying to find ways to make Luther work. I really like Luther a lot. And I think that if I could find a good team with him, I think it'd be cool to have him as my, uh, as my mobile team. <laughs> Cause I just have too many other tanks leveled up on, on Facebook. Um, so we're going to do, um, Maya. I like using Arachne because of her, you know, her improvement on mobile. Um, of course she didn't get this improvement on Facebook, which, which kind of sucks. And then, you know, we'll keep that Keep that Orion synergy in there. So this is a nice um, this is a nice synergy team based on uh, you know Orion and Dorian, Arachne for a little bit of the support control, and then Maya for a, um, a little bit different opportunity up front while Luther jumps across and uh, does his um, his his ultimate attack where you know he jumps in the middle of the opposing team. So I kind of I, I I really like this lineup. It's it's something that I found interesting. I don't, I don't have Maya on on mobile, which is kind of the main thing stopping me from doing this. Um, but I do have Dorian and Orion leveled up. I do have, you know, I've started leveling up my Luther on mobile. So this is an interesting lineup you could try. Okay. Let's try some, some, uh, physical damage teams. This is a physical, uh, plus physical attack healer after all. So the best, in my opinion, physical attack tank is going to be Galahad because Galahad also provides physical attack for your team. Um, let's do Ishmael. Fun fact about Ishmael tears up Aurora. So all these new heroes, all these new players that are like, ah, new Aurora skin with armor, Ishmael. <laughs> Ishmael will drop Aurora real fast, real fast. Uh, and then, you know, I like Nebula. And let's do Fox. Let's do Fox for this lineup. And the reason why I like Fox, uh, another style of support hero, again, I'm trying to vary up my support uh, heroes for you guys so you don't you know keep choosing the same guy over and over and over again supports good pushes the tank back so that your uh, your ishmael can get past him into your second hero um blinds the front row so if you're you know if you're going up against uh um, a team that the hitter is in the is in the second position it'll you know it'll slow down that damage output if it's a kark or uh, maybe if it's a krista up there interesting there and um yeah of course dorian in the back for for the um for the plus physical attack artifact uh, skill and the and the heals, yeah. So there's your physical damage team. Good one with Ishmael. Good one with Ishmael. So let's take a look at a twins team. I just wanted to do a twins team because I think I think everybody uses the twins. And let's see, where is Lars? And I think having, you know, Dorian, you know, how could Dorian fit into a twins team? I think this is the best one that I can come up with. Um, I'm not sure if it's the best twins team, but this is, this is kind of the best one that I came up with. You've got Krista as the tank up there, and then you've got Nebula between Celeste for armor penetration, Lars for, you know, for, uh, for his damage. You know, this is a this is an interesting different lineup that um, again I got to credit Mad Viking for. It's on the on the Discord channel. Shout out to the Discord that's been super helpful for me. I'll uh, link for the Discord's in the description box below. And uh, this is a this is a team that he suggested for me. Um, he also suggested Martha instead of Dorian. But again, this is a Dorian focused video, so this is a good idea for a twins team. Um, of course, the synergy between Lars and Krista I could talk about for 
for weeks. <laughs> um, let's do another Ishmael team. So Ish, as a tank in this, uh, Jorgen, we're going to do Faceless and then finally Phobos. So this is what I would call an out of this world tower farming team. I think this team is really, really good for farming the tower. Um, you could swap out Phobos for Kai because I think Kai is amazing for farming the tower. So the idea behind this is Ishmael is a very strong tower hero. Um, and then you have a bunch of supports behind him, keeping him alive and, and making him, you know, basically go faster. So the idea behind Phobos is, you know, Phobos's stun ability that he uses, and then you, then you copy it with faceless. And that'll basically take one hero on the opposing tower team out of the fight for a good, you know, six to eight seconds or however long it is. And that'll give your, uh, your Ishmael time to, you know, kill one or two of the other heroes. And this is a good team. If you're kind of struggling, if your if your team level is the same as your hero level, but you're still struggling, this could be a good team to, to kind of help, you know, level you up a little bit while you're still trying to grind your way through the tower. So I wouldn't normally recommend Ishmael as a tank because his, his stats don't really support him being a tank. He used to be, but not so much anymore. But this is a good, a really good tower farming team. Tower farming. All right. So one, one kind of last team that I want to talk about is Cleaver. And only because I just got Cleaver on, on Facebook and I'm, now I'm like obsessed with trying him out and, and everything. Um, on mobile, I really like Cleaver and Vari. Oh, let's see, where's my Anvari? Um, did I level him up? I just, I just had him. Here we go. I really like Cleaver and Vari because Anvari on mobile protects everybody behind him and Cleaver can kind of, you know, take a lot of damage, uh, with his high health and, uh, and high armor. And of course you have, um, you have Dorian back there for heals. And I also like, uh, Celeste and Nebula for this team. And I'm not sure where I got this team from, but I really like this team because it's, it seems like it's got some pretty good synergy. Um, I'm not sold on it because of the position of Nebula, but this is just another Cleaver and Vari team that I came up with that I think, um, a lot of people keep asking me for Envari teams and it's, and it's kind of difficult to do because his skill is different on Facebook than on mobile. Uh, and I, and I don't plan to diverge the channels anytime soon, but it's just something to think about. So this would be an interesting Envari team that you could use. Uh, you could probably even, you know, maybe drop him out and have Envari tank for you if you want to get real crazy and then maybe do, you know, let's just do this. You have, you have Celeste for armor, or, I'm sorry, for magic, uh, magic attack. You have Orion for um, armor, um, magic penetration. Wow. Uh, you have Nebula boosting the two of those back and forth. And of course you have Dorian for heals and Envari for tanks up front. So this would be a really strong, I guess, anti-Kark team, anti-twins team. Interesting, uh, interesting idea there. Um, yeah. So that's a good, I don't know, six or eight uh, Dorian team composition ideas. I, I hope you found this video useful. If, if there's a great team that you think that I missed, please let me know in the comments. Um, I'm definitely, uh, um, I'm definitely happy to, uh, to try out other things. Oh, there was one more team. Actually, I wanted to try out one more team, one more physical damage team. Again, we're going to use Cleaver and Nebula. People keep asking me about, um, King Mao. People keep asking me about King Mao. What can I use King Mao for? So, oh wait, not, not Nebula, not Nebula. Kira. And Anavari. There you go. So again, um, Anvari is going to protect everybody behind him. Uh, King Mao for armor penetration, Kira for armor penetration, Dorian, because he's a healer that boosts physical attack. So this is a hardcore physical attack damage team. I think this is probably one of the strongest physical attack teams um, that I could put together, honestly. You could sub out uh, Nebula. I'm sorry, sub out Anvari for Nebula. Man, that doesn't work. Hmm. Okay. Let's just stick with Anvari for this. Let's just stick with Anvari for this. So this is another good physical attack team. Okay, one more. I just wanted to throw that in there. <laughs> so with all that being said, guys, uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I know it's slightly longer than the Helios team composition video, but I think that there's more opportunities for Dorian than there are in Helios. And uh, that's the video. So um, again, this is the mobile hero of the month, uh, just for logging in, getting your daily tasks. If you found this video helpful, please consider sending me, uh, sending me a nice, uh, a happy comment my way. If you send me a mean comment, I'll still respond. I don't care. You can't hurt my feelings. Um, <laughs> but please, uh, please consider uh, subscribing. Uh, hit that like button if you've got half a second and you found this video helpful. But uh, yeah, until next time, this is Charles with Hero War Central. Have a great day.